Hi, I'm Gary White for Channel 6, Central Kentucky Television. I'm here with Talor Schlosser, who is the Marion County School Superintendent, for an update on the Marion County Schools and what's going on here in Marion County. A lot of great stuff to talk about, right? Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. So, first we want to talk about something special that actually happened last week. And there's a student in Marion County who is suffering from a a disease, it's not a very good thing, but there was a lot of support that was shown throughout Marion County. Can you tell us a little about that? Right, uh, last week our schools, several of our schools supported a young lady named Ava uh, from Marion County Middle School and everyone wore orange. And so um, some folks ha actually had special t-shirts and some people just wore orange and it, it was all about helping her with this, this battle. And uh, you know, we're just looking forward for her, you know, that she'll be back in school and we'll be excited to see her. But yes, I agree, that was very special. And that was a nice way of showing support and camaraderie for a fellow student here at Marion County as she continues her battle there. Yes. And so that was nice to see a lot of orange throughout the district. So if you saw that, that's why. Absolutely, <laughs> yes. And, and you probably saw some pictures on Facebook mm -hmm. and, and some things like that. So, you know, uh, sometimes if you don't know why everybody's wearing orange, I mean, yeah. you could come up with another reason but <laughs> it was all for Ava. Yes, very good, very nice. But now also we want to talk about some different programs. There's been a lot of outreach that's been going on with different schools. Various schools have been going out and seeing people in our community, right? Absolutely. For example, last week, Calvary Elementary, uh, we all do career days. And so they did something a little bit different, Gary. They actually went downtown. And so the kids actually went into the place of business and they talked about careers with those folks. So, you know, I know that our local banks participated. I saw a group of kids standing in front of Farmers National Bank. I know that uh, Brad Cox had uh, a group come into his office. And, and by no means do I want to leave anybody out but I do know that that was something very different and so we had little ones downtown for career day so I thought that was great um, also we have our elementary schools I don't know if everybody knows this but they actually visit college campuses uh, we believe it's very important Gary for those kiddos to see a college campus walk on it get a tour uh, again I'm, I'm gonna keep at telling folks you know check out our website check out our social media post our schools do a great job and the folks they have designated to actually promote the cool things that are going on in our schools and so when we talk about to a child about college or technical school or working somewhere in Marion County we try to make sure that our kids has actually had that opportunity and so that's something that we are, are really we're committed to and we're trying to really focus in I know everyone's seen the shield behind us and and one of our students did a great job doing a video to explain that but this is real all really about portrait of a graduate you know in Marion County Public Schools we understand that success ready is about that portrait of a graduate so when we talk about things like students going downtown it's wonderful that our children are collaborating with our community mm -hmm. so you know collaboration doesn't start the day we go to work uh, it's it's every single day so absolutely now also we want to mention and they're going out into the community but you're also having some people come into the schools and you're having something with robotics that's going to be at one of the schools right. soon, right? yes uh, two more wonderful opportunities is that mr. Lockwood the principal from Marion County Middle School uh, along with some staff, Miss May and Mr. Harden and uh, Mr. Reed, and I hope I've not left anybody out. I think Mr. Benningfield as well. They visited over in Harden County at a school called EC3. So it is um, Harden County's version of maybe like an early college and a technical school actually on uh, E-Town's campus. But they have a robotics program and they actually have competitions. And so Mr. Lockwood wanted uh, our staff to see that. And again, you can check out those uh, pictures on Facebook. But what you'll see is that our teachers are communicating with the, the children, asking them what to do. And, you know, a robotics club would be a competition. So there we go with that critical thinking and that teamwork and collaboration. A lot of content involved as well. Again, all tying back to uh, the portrait of a graduate. So uh, 
that will be something that's going to come and actually it goes along with our Project Lead the Way program. Greg Conley and Ginger Allen do a great job at Marion County High School. In fact, Gary, on Wednesday we're having a Project Lead the Way um, meeting. Once a month we actually have an advisory council and we have several members around the table, whether that's local engineers or business and industry leaders, but we sit around the table and, and we do what we ask our students to do. We collaborate, we think critically, we communicate, we try to figure out ways that students can actually job shadow. So our pre-engineering students are actually going to go out into the community and job shadow. I don't want to leave anybody out, but we actually have several Project Lead the Way teachers pre-engineering program in the district. But what you're talking about is on Friday we are having our manufacturing day, and so that's hosted at Marion County High School. Terry Thomas does a great job organizing that, along with Miss McRae and Courtney Murphy and, and all the high school staff that help with that. Even our student ambassadors are involved. And I don't know if you know this, but even our students at the high school actually cater the meal. So it's part of their class and, and they feed the folks that come in, but our manufacturers come in, they talk to our kids about you know, possible jobs, you know, what is available in Marion County or within close driving distance so that our kids can have an opportunity to stay home and uh, still make a, a really good living and be a part of this community. Um, again, another attribute of our portrait of a graduate is commitment and, and one of the things that we want to talk to our kids about is just that commitment. Um, a lot of manufacturers call that soft skills, showing up to work every day, being on time, being drug free, knowing your job and so manufacturing day is a fabulous way for us to make that, um, you know, collaborate with the community. Um, I'll start it off with, with welcoming folks, and we actually end with Daniel Carney. He is Washington County Springfield Economic Development Director, and Tom Lunn, who is our Economic Development Director here in uh, Marion County. They will actually end that with the kids. Mm -hmm. And so all of the students, the seniors at um, Marion County Area Technology Center will have an opportunity to see demonstrations. They'll actually have an opportunity to get their hands involved in that as well. Talk to manufacturers and so uh, it'll be a great day and um, I also want to say when you see the t-shirts all the kids will have a t-shirt and you're going to see our shield like back here except the quadrants look a little bit different. You're, it's going to be more geared toward that technical side but that's okay because we want everyone to have that shield. Absolutely. When you talk about a portrait of a graduate, tell us uh, what exactly are you trying to accomplish with that? Well, what we want to see, and, and you can see over here, Gary, I'll just point to that. You can see we have our diploma and our graduation hat. And so when we talk about portrait of a graduate, what does it mean to have a diploma? But we want it to be beyond a diploma. So in our summit a couple of years ago, we asked business and industry, parents, students, teachers, staff, what does it mean to graduate from Marion County Public Schools? And we went beyond the content. So, you know, we listened to what folks said and some of the key things that they said they wanted students to know and be able to do were communicate, collaborate, think critically, be creative, the content obviously is foundation and then the commitment. So what, what we're trying to say to folks is that when you graduate from Marion County Public Schools, you are a portrait. And we want to define what that portrait looks like. We want to draw that picture. So when we say success ready, that is beyond the content. And so you're going to hear me use a lot of those words because I want us all to start saying those. But what, we've ha what we have heard from business and industry and post-secondary, those are the attributes that they are looking for in young people mm -hmm. in order to be successful. What you'll find is that even as early as third, fourth grade, or probably even sooner, even in kindergarten working in groups, there's a lot of those things that our kids do. And we just want to channel all of that in to have one, mes one message. And that is, if you graduate from Marion County Public Schools, you are going to have a portrait. You're going to have a shield. And that's all going to be about success ready. And as with everybody, everybody's portrait's different. So whether they're going to college or to a trade or whatever they choose to pursue, 
their portrait will be different as they go on. Absolutely, and and you can see that one of the symbols, um, it actually reminds me of when you were little and you did the little Etch-a-Sketch and all those mm -hmm. kinds of things. But what that talks, what, what we mean by that is that equity piece. And so while every child has needs, um, they could be very different. And that's exactly right. That portrait may, may look different. It can be different based on their needs, based on their interest, based on where they want to live, what they want to do. And so we want to make sure that everyone's portrait is actually, it can be unique to that child. But collaboration may look different for a child who uh, wants to be a supervisor and weld at Hendrickson, or it could be look very different if a child wants to go on to Campbellsville University and be a part of the marching band. So regardless of what area that they're interested in, uh, you know, Gary, we just had a group of students from the Knight Academy that actually went over to the cosmetology school. Mm -hmm. And Aaron Summers, our Family Resource Center Director for the Knight Academy and uh, the high school actually took a group. So we're even trying to look at different avenues for kids to actually go look at different things because we understand you're right, that portrait of a graduate does look different for every child and that's what we want to do in our school system. Absolutely. I know when you're talking about some of the students being out in the community as well, I was at the Heartland Safe Community Coalition meeting here in Marion County. Uh, which is the anti-drug coalition and a couple of the students from Marion County High School were on hand as well and they're talking about some programs that they're involved with but also what they're talking about was looking for the public's assistance in donating hygiene items for the family resource use service centers in our area as well mm -hmm. and some of the teachers are coordinating stuff of that nature too for our community they are uh, we are calling that kind of a shield project because again everybody ha we want everyone to have a shield and sometimes we need to add a little bit to that to make it stronger and so you know there are uh, children and families that could be displaced uh, maybe they've just run into a roadblock and there are our, our family resource centers and also our 21st century learning building along with our migrant program uh, community education uh, we want to provide uh, those items and what better what better way to do that is to get our children involved when we talk about community and commitment and leadership. I mean, I think leadership is, is obviously, um, I think it goes hand in hand with that word commitment. So we are looking at ways that maybe once a month we can have hygiene items or maybe it's canned goods or maybe it's a box of macaroni or maybe it's, uh, you know, laundry detergent. Again, we're just trying to make sure that if there are needs of our families or our children, uh, we want to provide that, and I'm really excited to hear that our kids are out in the community, you know, carrying that message, holding that banner. Absolutely. Now, also, we want to mention, we've been talking for several months in our conversations about the facility plan for the schools, and I think you have an update on, because the last time we talked, you're waiting on the state to give you the go-ahead, right? Yes, sir. Um, we have a local planning committee, like you said, you and I have talked about that several times, but actually today I just received word from the Department of Education that our local planning committee had been approved and given its final stamp of approval. So it is perfectly acceptable for us to begin that process. There will be 20 members on the committee. Uh, it starts out with an orientation process. So what I will be trying to coordinate initially will be just to have that meeting, you know, that first orientation meeting. I am on the committee, but I'm a non-voting member. Um, our board is actually seeking a, a proposal for someone to facilitate this committee work. Uh, that's actually should be in the newspaper this week, and that will be advertised statewide. Uh, hopefully we will get a proposal for that, and we can find someone to help be that neutral party to facilitate this and uh, Hopefully we'll get started at, you know, November soon. Yeah. <laughs> and then we'll keep you up to date on the status on that and how the process goes. Because there's a couple levels, as we talked about before, to Absolutely. seeing this curve, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Well, again, I've been talking with Marion County School Superintendent Laura Schlosser about many things going on in the Marion County School System. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Gary. It's been, it's been a pleasure. And this has been Gary White for Channel 6, Central Kentucky Television.